Hey guys, so we finally have a clear night. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I made the last video, but uh, April and May are usually very unstable months uh, regarding the weather here. But yeah, anyway, we have a clear night, so let's not waste it. for a while now but I think that uh, this bad weather uh, really put me slightly out of shape because I have to think about uh, every step uh, while setting everything up mentioned this in the previous video but uh, just in case you forgot or if you are new I'm uh, currently working on the Well Nebula uh, more specifically on the East Well Nebula and sadly I wasn't able to image this target uh, at all since the last video so I am still on my four hours uh, worth of exposures uh, on the RGB data using the moon and sky glue filter and I know I said that uh, many times that you have to be patient in uh, astrophotography but uh, I won't spend uh, more time on this target except uh, tonight of course because I will return to this target uh, in the near future so in a few weeks or so when I will try to image a mosaic and I will use uh, this target and I will talk about the gradients in more detail because I think uh, it's a kind of good idea to combine those two topics because when you are trying to do a mosaic image the vignetting can really make uh, processing very difficult and uh, stitching all of those images together so if your background isn't well calibrated it, uh, you will end up with a very weird uh, gradients and uh, that will make your image look uh, really weird the thing is that first I have some uh, trips planned so this will have to wait for a while but yeah a video of composing a mosaic image is uh, definitely coming up in the future you will probably notice in the image at the end of the video that it's uh, slightly off center so now you know that I'm building a mosaic image at least in theory I hope uh, I plant uh, everything uh, correctly in Stellarium so I hope I won't cut into the nebula when I combine all the images it's a good idea to leave yourself some space and uh, crop the image uh, when you're done uh, processing either way you will end up with a huge image with a lot of resolution so cropping the image a bit uh, won't hurt uh, anyone okay so as I mentioned before I have around uh, 4 hours worth of uh, RGB data and I will call it enough for now. Tonight I'm going to be using only the H-Alpha filter and that's not a lot of time again because the Well Nebula rises above the roof of the house just before midnight and we have good dark skies till around 3 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, that will give me around uh, 3 hours to image. And just in case you're interested, I was uh, taking 300 second exposures with the Moon and Sky Glue filter. But uh, tonight I'm going to be pushing the exposures to 900 seconds with uh, the H Alpha filter. So yeah, let's turn off the light and uh, start the image. <laughs> Okay, so I'm recording this part uh, more than a week after what you just watched and that's of course because of the weather I got uh, cut uh, very short uh, the last time I imaged we had some high clouds uh, passing over so the images uh, weren't that great and that's why I have to spend uh, one more night imaging despite uh, that I said that I wouldn't as I mentioned this time of year the weather is very unpredictable and uh, unstable and the nights are getting ridiculously short so yeah, spending only one night on a target, uh, I think that that's uh, not the best idea. But uh, anyway, I think that uh, that's about it for this video, guys. Again, I hope uh, all of you are doing well. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye.